Modern agricultural practices often call for the use of fertilizers to enhance soil quality and crop yield. Traditionally, chemical fertilizers, which are heavy in nitrogen, have been used for this purpose. However, these can lead to a wide variety of ecological and agricultural problems, such as groundwater pollution and vulnerability to certain pests. Biofertilizers are an eco-friendly substitute for these harmful inorganic fertilizers. Not only do these materials cause no environmental damage, but they aid in plant growth in ways that inorganic fertilizers cannot. Furthermore, biofertilizers can be produced from easily accessible organic materials, so even the most remote villages can use them to be more agriculturally self-reliant. In this particular biofertilizer, rice husk, rice barn, bamboo leaves, soil, and water are used. First, soil containing the useful microorganisms must be gathered. These microorganisms increase microbial diversity in the soil and plants restoring nutrients, which significantly improves the soil quality and plant growth. To gather the microorganisms, dig a five centimeter hole in an undisturbed patch of ground next to a tree. It is important to collect soil from this layer because this is where the microorganisms are most active. Carefully weigh one kilogram of bamboo leaves, five kilograms of rice husk, two kilograms of rice barn, and one kilogram of the soil that was just collected. These ingredients should be combined thoroughly, making sure the mixture is consistent and to allow for the microorganisms to cover as much area as possible. While mixing, pour some water over the blend to add moisture. When the mixture is both consistent and moist, transfer it into a 50 centimeter diameter bucket. Spread the blend evenly on the bottom and create a depression in the center. This provides ventilation and prevents the beneficial microorganisms from overheating. Cover the bucket and let it sit in the shade. Mix the contents every four days, spreading it out evenly once again and forming the depression. This process should be repeated for a month. The mixture is ready to be used when a layer of white hypha has formed. Let us review the microorganism collection process. First, gather the microorganisms by collecting one kilogram of soil from a layer five centimeters below the surface near a tree. Second, mix the soil thoroughly with one kilogram of bamboo leaves, five kilograms of rice husk, and two kilograms of rice barn. Add water to moisten the material while doing this. Third, transfer the soil mixture to a 50 centimeter diameter bucket. Make a depression in the center to allow for ventilation. Fourth, cover the mixture and place it in the shade. Every four days, mix the contents, taking care to make a new depression in the center every time. After 30 days, the microorganisms are ready to be cultivated. In order to process the microorganisms, first collect the following ingredients. Half a kilogram of the dried sample, 15 liters of molasses, one net bag, 75 liters of clean water. If molasses is not available, 15 kilograms of brown sugar can be used. Place half a kilogram of the dried sample in the net bag and tie it. Using a beaker, measure 15 liters of molasses, one liter at a time, and pour it into the 100 liter container. To quickly fill the container with water, Use a 15 liter watering can. Next, soak the net bag in the solution. 
Always stir in one direction to avoid disturbing the fragile microorganisms. It is well mixed when you notice the molasses is no longer sticky. Once the mixture has been stirred sufficiently, seal the barrel and let it stand for 30 days without opening the lid. After 30 days, the solution should be fermented and a white layer should be visible. Let us review the microorganism cultivation process. After collecting the necessary ingredients, mix 75 liters of water with 15 liters of molasses in a 100 liter barrel. Place the dry sample into the net bag. Then place the bag into the 100 liter barrel. Stir the mixture in one direction. Seal the barrel and leave it for 30 days. After 30 days, the microorganisms should be cultivated and ready to be made into fertilizer. Different biofertilizers can be produced for various applications depending on the ingredients used. Vegetables, fruits, or herbs can be used. In this video, the production of vegetable biofertilizers will be shown. The ratio of the final mixture is one part microorganism, one part molasses, 10 parts water. One third of the container should be filled with chopped vegetables. The exact mass of each ingredient to be used depends on the desired amount of the final product. Once the ingredients have been gathered, mix the water, molasses, and the microorganisms together. Remember to measure carefully and follow the ratios. As in the cultivation stage, stir in only one direction. Next, add the chopped vegetables and continue to stir. When all of the chopped material has been added, tightly seal the barrel and let stand. This will take about 15 days. The biofertilizer will be ready when the smell of alcohol is present, along with a white film on the surface of the mixture. After gathering the ingredients, mix the water, sugar or molasses, and the microorganisms together. Be sure to stir in only one direction. Add the chopped vegetables and continue to stir. Seal the barrel and let stand for 15 days. After 15 days, the biofertilizer will be ready to use. Before applying the biofertilizer, it must be diluted appropriately. The ideal mixture is 30 milliliters in 20 liters of water. Choosing to replace harmful chemical fertilizers with biofertilizers benefits everyone. The environment benefits from the removal of unnatural chemicals. The farmer benefits from low cost and self-reliance. So why not switch to biofertilizers today? The benefits of this cost-effective natural solution await. Thank you.